Welcome back Poke fans to the playthrough of Pokemon Olympus. So last episode we got a bit of a, a look into what the game's going to be about. Obviously it's based in Olympia, Greek mythology, Zeus, Poseidon, all that sort of stuff. We got our star Pokemon which is a Fakemon called Herim. Which I think looks pretty cool. Obviously I went for water because our father's Poseidon. Um, yeah, so... Ah, attribute base. I've never seen like that before. Anyway, now we've got to go north to um, go and see some trainer. Natural reserve. Pretty cool. Mime Junior could get a psychic fairy type. No, I think I'll avoid that. How do we get up there? Oh, the stairs. Oh, hello, you must be that little coach teach told me about, right? This nature reserve brings back many memories for me. It's been a lot of time I've Pokemon here. Now that I'm older, I can't afford to be distracted from battles. Must live up to my title. I'm part of the high command, but not from this region. I've come to meet with a professor, but he's very absent-minded. Have you seen them around? Anyway, would you like to fight? Could serve as a warm before facing the divinity of the next city. I warn you that I'm very strong. I mean, we got one Pokemon. Oh, you're what's his name? Grimsley. I thought you were. Level fifteen. Okay, yeah, you, you're a little bit strong for me. By a little bit, I mean a lot. Perhaps we shouldn't, uh, we shouldn't battle you yet. I mean, you are Elite Four, so... Right. Let's head back there. I'm pretty sure that was a crocodile that he was just casually chilling with as well. Maybe even shiny. Alright, talk to me person on the bike. Stop. Stop. Do you go all the way around? You do. Okay, we'll um, stop in your tracks. Oh, I can't even talk to you. Should we see what other Pokemon appear here? I feel like there could be something cool here. It just looks like fairy types to me. Oh no, it's all baby Pokemon. Of course it would be to nature reserve. Alright, um... Well, there's nobody here. So perhaps this isn't where I was supposed to go. Was it to the left then? It must be. Kung Fu was my passion. Now I dedicate myself to personal training. Um, yep. Yeah. How's my career? Angie needs to improve languages between English, Greek, Spanish, Korean and others. I don't understand why she doesn't make a jumble of words in her head. <laughs> yeah, too many words for me. Good morning, my name's Lucas. I see that you don't have the Olympia Rotom device, but you were lucky because I brought one recently. And the next day I got one just like it in the lottery draw. Ten. Mobile Rotom, thank you. I'd like you to accept orders. Talk to me again if you want to accept your first assignment. Pokemon training in the region. Recently a Pokemon thief took all my evolution stones, including the rare moonstone that I was looking for for months. These stones are crucial for my team and its development. Please, I need someone with exceptional skills to track down and recover my evolution stones. Thief Pokemon is rumoured to be hiding deep in the forest. Whether you're your bravery and skills, do you accept the challenge of helping a fellow trainer? I agree. Right, so now we can go back and get that other assignment. Oh, you're level 7. That's quite a high level. 
we're probably gonna have to start catching something soon because um, I don't think it's gonna quite cut it with just one Pokemon Right, let's go and see if I can find that person. I think it was in the bottom house, maybe. Oh no, when he was in here. Pokemon well taken care of. Blah, blah, blah. Um, something, something. That's a lot. It's been hiding near Route 1, Hori. I agree. Alright, we'll, we'll go and do this quest for you because I'm curious to know what you're going to give me for doing it. So I'm assuming we're looking for a Pokemon. It's going to be anyway, it's going to be down here, isn't it? Yeah, there he is. Seems like he got scared. This little hip squeak man. You know what, shall I catch a little chunk? It's been a while since I've used one. I think the last time I used one was Pokemon and Neil, where Oin Clone was like the MVP. Get an old chunky boy. Well, I suppose in this case it's chunky girl. Yeah, you can just go on the team. Right, so where would it have gone? Ah, poor me. No, I don't want you. Just checking it hasn't gone down there. Oh my god, we're getting a lot of encounters now, aren't we? Need a round, I don't think I need that. Right, let's run. Um, oh, there he is. I'm running away again. Guess he's got to be closer. I'm, I'm just checking that he hasn't gone back to the same place. Because he might well have. Oh my god. A Colibrief. There's our new Pokemon. We're 100% catching this. That's gonna hurt. In fact, that hurt a lot. Oh, one HP. Clutch. This will do though. Grass flying, it's not, not a bad type really. Perfectly camouflaged among the laurels of the forest, its dark green plumage and wide leaves blend with the leaves of the trees. It's an expert in silent flight and usually moves elegantly. Okay. No, it didn't go back there, that's good. Right, we're going to have to um, heal up there because. We literally one HP. Right there we go. I'm guessing it's gonna have returned back out. Oh no, there it is. Seems to have calmed down and turned to daycare. Is she playing chase with Boneri? Right, what you got for me? Have you managed to find my little girl? Obviously it's right next to you. Oh, Bibi, I was so worried about you. Thank you for bringing him back home. Don't know what to do without you. Here's a little token of my gratitude. You're amazing. Two sweethearts. Grandma did it with great love, but now you are my friend and friend share. Ah, oh, Radar. It's also help you find Pokemon in the area and not lose sight of them. Ah, that's interesting. So does that mean I can see what Pokemon appear? 
Aha. Right, there's nothing. Nothing new. Let's just check route one, make sure there's nothing that we missed. Oh, so that bird thing that we've already got. No, that'll do, that'll do. Right, hair down up. And let's go to the left. Right, you can heal me up. Right, so route two. There is nothing new that I can see. We'll carry on then. Looks like a trainer battle. In battle as in life, elegance and grace always prevail. Alright, Spritzy, level 8. That's a bit annoying. Right, the chunk, what you got? You got tail whip, that, that'll do. Come on, chunky boy, show us what you can do. Sweet scent, I can live with that. Let's go tail whip. You know what, you tail that quite well, actually. Hmm, confusion, please get through, please get through. Right, there we go. Now we can't be messing around. Gonna go out into Colibrief. Take that quite well as well. This is Stab. Wow, that did nothing. I'm going to struggle here. You know, one more, one more water gun might be what we need. Yep, just about there. Well, wow, that's loads of XP. Learn bite. Chunks now level six. Only reach level seven. All right, routes. And um, we'll stay in. Level nine as well. Thankfully, routes is quite frail. Close to level eleven. Oh, that was like a double battle. Right, let me um, run back and heal and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Double battle time. Don't treat your poke, poke mate badly. Okay, ranger couple. Helikid and a Magby. Oh man, that Helikid's going to be a problem. I can hit a water gun on you. Was that? That wasn't a crit, was it? Right, same again, but this time I'm gonna have to use a potion. Ah, oh, you poisoned my chunk, man. Right, level 11. The chunk's now level 7. Right, I'm gonna go bite and tail whip. That's it, you keep doing that. I can live with that. Can't live with the static though. Right, 
then we'll go tail uh, tackle. Ah, oh, we got paralyzed. Yeah, Herring's down. It's all good though, Lechonk to the rescue. Right, I need to run back and heal again now because Herring's down. That's quite a hard double battle really because they both counter each other's weaknesses. Well, apart, apart from if you got a ground type, I suppose. Okay. We're back, we're back, we're back. Can't go through there because you need cut. Learning of every battle, so don't hold back. Oh, trust me, Daniel. I don't plan to. Zigzagoon, normal one. Level 9. I don't mind being hit with Growl. Please don't miss, please don't miss. Um, you got a Collar Brief of your own. Or I can go to the Chunk. You should be able to take your leafage quite well. Go Tail Whip. Oh, what? Okay, I didn't expect that. We're literally alive on one HP. Right, another potion. Ah, oh, that sucks. How much does Echoed Voice do? That should finish it, yeah. Gotcha. Alright then, carrying on. Looks like we're... How do you get in there? Oh yeah, you can heal us as well, okay. Beloy Forest, that's where we need to go. Concerned about dangers lurking in the forest, there are many creatures and natural traps that can be dangerous to unsuspecting adventurers. Hope everyone takes precautions before entering. Right, let's check what we can find. Ah, Body Gory. We'll be getting that. So yeah, Bully Gore is like a bug Pokemon that just seems to be in every Spanish fan game. I think it's like a, a big thing in their community type thing. Right, Wormpool. Uh, it might be worth getting Colin Brief actually. If we're going to be in a forest against loads of bugs. Although, Poison Sting poisons me. Get out of here. Such an annoying thing. What's left? Flash. Our combat serves to illuminate. Oh, um, right. I'll get rid of Growl. Also, it's Lux Toy. Right, since we're so close to the entrance, might as well run back and heal. Get rid of the uh, poison. And then we're going to lead off with our little flying friend. Oh my god, one step. Hey, C dot. You know what? We'll take you out. Uh, 
That'll do, that'll do. I'm curious about bug type Pokemon, Leandra. There's the Caterpie. It's only level 6 though, so. Oh, I clicked the wrong move. Wormpool. Please do not poison me. I'll just go down in one hit. That's better. Let's learn Astonish. Uh, it's better than Tackle. This could have Poison Point. Thankfully, it doesn't. And a Scatterbug. Where's the Bodyguard? I'm disappointed. Massively disappointed. Call yourself a bug catcher. Right, that just leads the same way, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, I can see an item to the right. Which is a great ball. Not bad, not bad. Should we battle you? Um, I'm a real manic bug. Is that Greek? Yeah, I mean, it looked potentially. The trainers were a little bit easier here, though. Tarantula. There we go. And Nimble. Still no Bulligory. This is just unacceptable. Right, we'll go up. To be honest, I want to see myself. Is that Goldengo? What the hell's going on? Is that Pokemon? I am so confused with what's going on here. Oh, actually, before we interact with it, let me just um, get that item. You actually outsped me. That'll take us up to level 12. Yep. Yeah. It looks like some sort of cat. Perhaps it's attacking the cleft. Oh, there we go. Bulligory. Lynch. Right, one more. And then we'll catch it. Right, throw the Pokeball. What? How dare you? Get in that Pokeball. Oh my god. That's twice now. Third time lucky, we do reckon. Right, I'll just fast forward to when we catch this thing because it looks like it's going to be a pain in the ass. Oh my god, I finally got it. That thing was like catching a legendary foe. Come on, man. I 
I think I got one Pokeball left. Lives in different regions of the world, depends on the region in which is located. He has one evolution or another, he's completely stupid. Ah, poor bug. Anyway, let's see what's going on here. Seems to be very angry. Seems that he's very strong and wants to fight. Um, let me, uh, let me use some potions. Right, we're good to go. Let's do this. Tebin Hood. Grass normal tie. Oh my god, that did so much damage. Right, we're going to go into Herim. I wonder if you can catch it. I'm probably going to say you can't. Why does it do so much damage? Oh my god. Right, we'll go Lechonk. Go for a tower. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to come back. This thing is ridiculously strong. Like that, that fury swipes is ridiculous. Maybe forget everyone to level fourteen. Good job we got rare candies, really. Oh, you missed. We're not doing anywhere near enough damage, though. Okay, we've done it, we've done it. I'll take that. It's Hebbin Hood. That's so much XP. Oh, it's level 14. What's learn Razor Leaf? Um, yeah, we'll get rid of leafage. Seems to have calmed down. You've obtained singular moonstone. Oh yeah, it belongs to Lucas. You've received the stone of Lucas. Oh, he's Cleffa. I think he was working with Cleffa. So that's what we were looking for this whole time. Unless maybe, I don't know. You know what? Screw you, bug. You wasted loads of my Pokeballs. Like, loads of my Pokeballs. said something Olympico, I don't know. Don't know what that's supposed to mean. But um yeah, we gotta go back to the beginning of route two I think it was. Right, heal me up. So we still haven't even found this trainer that we were looking for, but we did find the thief, Tebbin Hood. I managed to get my stone back. Um, Summit, thank you. Just wanted to help Clifford, uh huh, I understand. Let's over now, I can continue. Oh, we took the moonstone because it wanted to evolve. Yeah, yeah. Continue training, evolving my Pokemon companions. Here's your reward. Oh, you just gave me a Pokemon. Oh, no, it's an egg. Eight thousand five hundred ninety-four steps. 
Okay, hopefully it's something good and not an Eevee or a Togepi because that just annoys the hell out of me when that's what you get from an egg. Um, you know what I think we'll do? I think we'll end it here. Um, I want to keep the videos short-ish for this game um, just so I can kind of marvel in it rather than just rushing through it. Um, yeah, and like I said, next episode we'll we'll head further into the forest and hopefully find the trainer that we've come looking for. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching and I hope to see you all next time.